So we were driving down the road on our way to do a hike and we saw uh, a winery right by the trailhead. So figured we'd come in and see what kind of awesome wines Colorado has. <laughs> So this is our 2018 Vignet. Okay. <laughs> this is the one that uh, has tropical notes in it. This which I was saying. Uh, the last one we got was Franck as a red. She's really good. Oh wow, that is good. That is wonderful actually. I'm digging on that one. Oh, there is one. <laughs> that's the rosé, my favorite so far. I think that's going to be the winner right there. I love a good rosé. Love it. <laughs> This is a 16 Merlot. All right. <laughs> so this goes through a pretty, very different fermentation. A lot of times, well, most of the time are with blends. You blend them after each fermentation for each varietal. Right. So with this one, the fermentation is, they're together oh, wow. for the fermentation. Cool. So they're actually right next to each other in, with the vines. So, yeah, they're harvested together, then they go through fermentation together. Cool. Yeah. This is one of our best sellers. May everyone ask for it. Oh, yeah. Very good way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> All right, so we grabbed a couple bottles of rosé. It's really good stuff. Now we have to make some really good food to go with it. So, uh, so now we have another project, food and wine. <laughs> We are in Canyons of the Ancients National Monument. This is in the southwest corner of Colorado, really maybe less than 20 miles away from Cortez, Colorado. And this was only made a monument in 2000. So it's pretty recent. And it was made a monument to protect the numerous pueblos there are literally hundreds of ruins of pueblos in different conditions all through the monument. And that is exactly what we're doing today. <laughs> we're gonna go hike and see an ancient pueblo. <laughs> Some of these rock formations, they're just amazing. It's such a beautiful country. <laughs>
So this is the very first Puebla we've come to so far. And this here, uh, to me, looks like a granary. It's for food storage. And then they would have lived in this area surrounding it here. Uh, that is a very common kind of structure to protect your food from the critters. <laughs> you don't want the little critters coming and eating your hard-earned food. So I'm just going to sit down real briefly and uh, have a plum. This is a beautiful alcove. You can see why somebody would have set up home here. <laughs> Well, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Got more of these rocks. I mean, the rock formations here are so cool. <laughs> There's a layer of red sandstone at the bottom that looks like clay, but it looks like a giant balled up clumps of clay and stuffed them into the wall. <laughs> Pretty cool, very cool. <laughs> oh, there's another one right here. Right around the corner almost. Wow. Now this one's impressive. Well, this is incredibly cool. Oh my gosh. Just looking around here. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful area, huh? It's gorgeous. Yep. Someone picked out their real estate real nice there. <laughs> All right, let's get back on the trail. See what other beautiful surprises we can find along the way. Well, I just dropped my camera and it fell pretty hard. It's those 
quick release plates, I just flip the little switch for the quick release without grabbing a hold of the camera and the cra camera just tumbled down and smacked on the ground. That's the second time I've dropped it now. A couple weeks ago in Max Canyon I dropped it there too but this time I think I broke the sensor because I can't get it to focus. I'm trying to manually focus but uh, yeah that doesn't seem to be working very well either. So. And I didn't bring my other camera. Anyway, I'm in a beautiful, beautiful spot in a canyon. And I don't think you can see it. <laughs> oh well. I think that's it for today. I'll have to get my old camera and start using that from now on. We'll see how this looks. <laughs> Well, it's been a couple of days, and I'm very happy to report that I did not break my camera. I did, in fact, break the lens, and the lens won't focus properly anymore. Um, it seems to be on just the one side of the lens. So I was really bummed out about breaking the camera, and then when I got back, I thought, you know, it might be just the lens, and I have a couple other lenses I could test. And while I could have sat around here in the parking lot and tested it, um, I just decided to drive up to Mesa Verde National Park. There's a place there called Farview Lodge. A really, really cool place. And I just picked up a couple of my other lenses and just kept swapping the lenses and filming around Farview Lodge, which was really, really cool. One of the coolest things about Farview Lodge, something I'm not aware exists anywhere else in ancient Pueblo culture, is a reservoir. They built an actual reservoir in a place where water didn't exist before. So the ancient Puebloans have built very rudimentary dams on creeks and things like that to kind of, you know, create pools of water. But again, I'm not aware of anywhere where there's a reservoir, an actual reservoir where water didn't really pool up or exist before. But I went around Farview Lodge with both my um, 17 millimeter Olympus lens and my I have a 14 to 42 I bought, which it was a super duper cheap lens, which I actually like. It's a pretty good lens. Anyway, yeah, Farview Lodge up at Mesa Verde National Park was really cool. So yesterday, I was really, really bummed out. I got up in the morning. I was just really, really depressed about breaking my camera. <laughs> And I had this really, really awful feeling that, you know, like the universe was telling me that this wasn't the time to own this camera. <laughs> because I wanted this camera so bad, I, I felt like I coveted this camera, right? And the universe was telling me, you don't need this camera. And I don't know, I got really, really depressed about it. Anyway, I'm over it now. I'm happy. The camera's fine. I've still got two other lenses that are wonderful lenses. I mean, this Olympus lens I'm using now is an excellent lens. Um, it's definitely the best lens I own. And that 14 to 42, although it's super cheap, I actually like it in some ways better than the 12 to 60 that I broke. But the 14 to 42 somehow, I don't know, just uh, the picture seems a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm going to look at this far view footage more before I go out and shoot. I'm going up to Mesa Verde in the next couple of days and shooting, so... And uh, I'm going to say good night. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming along on my wine drinking journey. <laughs>
Well, this is the 14, the 42 lens. And, uh, yes, it's tight. But if it, if it works, this whole thing works, and that's what I got. And I'll be happy to have it. <laughs> so, let's see how this footage comes out on the 14 to 42.